It's a real pleasure to be here today, and I'm going to talk to you about some public opinion data that we have from the Pew Research Center on everything from DACA to also the current immigration reform uh, thing, uh, uh, ideas that are out there, in addition to the views of the general public about immigrants and how they see them in the United States. So let me get started. Um, First, um, I want to start by talking about deportation. DACA is directed at providing relief from deportation for uh, children who, uh, young people who came here as children uh, and who are unauthorized immigrants. And you take a look at uh, fear of deportation, particularly among the two groups that are most represented among today's immigrants, Hispanics and Asian Americans. You'll find that Latinos, particularly foreign-born Latinos, are worried about deportation, whether that be of themselves or perhaps a friend or a family member uh, or somebody that they know. And these are results that we've seen that have been pretty consistent over the last few years, particularly for Latinos in terms of worrying about, uh, about uh, deportation. For Asian Americans, on the other hand, it's a different story. First, um, most unauthorized immigrants are from Latin America. So the Hispanic numbers are perhaps no surprise. But I think it's important to note that uh, there are also unauthorized immigrants from other parts of the world. In fact, about 20% of the nation's about 11.7 million unauthorized immigrants are from places other than Latin America. And Asia, of course, is part of that. Nonetheless, even among immigrant Asian Americans, we found very little uh, or very few who say that they worry a lot or some that somebody they know or they themselves may be deported. Now, um, we've also been asking more recently about support for uh, providing uh, some sort of legal status to undocumented immigrants, but also perhaps providing some sort of citizenship. Now, this is data from the general U.S. public, or it's data that's based off of a survey of the general U.S. public asking Americans in both February and July about um, legalizing or providing some way for unauthorized immigrants to become legal. And you can see here, for example, in February, 73% of American adults said that, yes, they supported some sort of a legalization for unauthorized immigrants. In July, so this is just a few weeks ago, um, those numbers had slipped to 68%. So there have been a decline of about five percentage points in support among the general public for some form of legalization. Now, you could also see that there's been an increase in the share who say that unauthorized immigrants or people who are in the country illegally should not be allowed to stay legally. That number went up by six percentage points. So there's been some change in the views of the American public about unauthorized immigrants and whether they should be given a path to legalization. Now, what's interesting is where did the support change? Well, a lot of this report is, uh, support has changed, particularly among Republicans. Interestingly enough, back in February, Tea Party Republicans and Republicans generally, so these are Americans who identify or lean towards the Republican Party, generally speaking, they were supportive of some sort of a legalization. But as we've had a discussion about and a lot of news coverage of the unaccompanied minors at the border, that's led to some change in opinions, particularly among Republicans. And you can see here that 54% of Republicans say undocumented immigrants should be allowed to stay legal in the U.S., but that's down from 64% in February. Among Tea Party Republicans, the numbers have gone from 56% support in February to 41% today. So some of the biggest changes have been among Republicans, with Tea Party Republicans Republicans having moved from a majority saying that they support some sort of legalization to now only 41% saying that. To just show you how Democrats feel about this, you can see their numbers too have slipped a little bit, but not like what you see for Tea Party Republicans. Now, um, how important is it to pass some sort of immigration reform this year? How important is it to do something significant in terms of legislation? You can see here that there's been an increase in support among the American public that uh, our view that the that something should be done. Uh, Forty-nine percent in February of twenty of this year said that uh, it was important to pass some sort of significant legislation. But now, July 2014, we find that number is up to 61 percent, with 12 percent, uh, a 12 percentage point increase over February. Um, you can see that the numbers are up virtually everywhere, but particularly among Republicans, up 15 percentage points, and among Independents, up 17 percentage points. Um, you see a lot of growth in the share of American adults who say that it's important that something be done. So on the one hand, there's somewhat of a change in the view, particularly among Republicans and Tea Party Republicans, in support for some sort of legalization, but there is strong support, growing support, in fact, for passing something significant soon in terms of immigrant legislation. Now, 
we are obviously here to talk about DACA. And I wanted to show you some results that we've had for DACA, but this is actually a little bit old now. This is from 2012. And we're actually uh, planning to do some new work on this to see whether or not there have been some change in opinions about DACA. But you can see that back in 2012, when the program was announced, among the general public, the general US public, 63% approved of the program and 33% disapproved of the program. Among all Hispanics, that number was 89%. And you can see that across Hispanics, whether native born, foreign born, or registered voters, very strong support for the President's Deferred Action Program when it was announced back in 2012. Now, unfortunately, I wish we had some new data on this, um, but we'll get to that sometime later on this year. Nonetheless, we've also asked about whether or not Latinos were aware of somebody who has or said that they will apply for DACA. And you can see that back in 2012, when the program was announced, about 31% of all Hispanics said that they knew somebody who was either planning to or has applied for the Deferred Action Program. Of course, foreign-born Latinos, more likely to say this than the native-born. And when you take particularly look at, take a look at among the foreign-born, those who are legal residents, uh, a greater share say that, yes, they know somebody who was planning to or who had applied. But among those who are not a U.S. citizen and not a legal resident, they're likely unauthorized immigrants, you can see that nearly half said that they knew somebody who was either planning to or had applied for the Deferred Action Program. Now, I want to close by showing you a little bit about something that we've been tracking for a number of years, because the opinions that Americans have of immigrants has changed. Now, we've been asking this question about whether or not immigrants are a strength to our country today because of their hard work and talents, or are they a burden on our country because they take our jobs, housing, and health care? It's an old question. It's a question that if we were to write it today, it might write something some, somewhat different. Nonetheless, we've been asking it for uh, almost two decades now. And you can see that the share of Americans who say that immigrants strengthen our country is now at 57%. Back in 1994, it was at only about 30%. And the share that say that the immigrant, uh, immigrants are a burden on our country, that share has dropped from about two-thirds in 1994 to only 35% today. So the opinions that Americans have of the nation's immigrants, and by the way, the U.S. has more immigrants than any other country, both legal and those who are unauthorized. Are, the number stands at nearly 42 million, and no other country comes close to that. It's also interesting to note that uh, today's immigration wave is somewhat different than previous waves. Uh, uh, Latin Americans and Asians play a big role in shaping today's immigration immigrant population compared with previous waves, which were largely either European, German, say, or Irish, uh, 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 or Italian. So we've seen some big changes in terms of who's an immigrant and how big of a population that is, standing today at about 42 million. So I'm going to close there because <clears throat> I have to cough, so excuse me. Um, but I'm going to close there, and I look forward to our discussion uh, and uh, conversation. Thank you.